Hey guys, I shouldn't be owning this. This right here is a Nintendo DS download station cartridge. Basically what these things were, where they were cartridges that distributed... <laughs> these are basically game cartridges that stores would use, so Target, Best Buy, Walmart, GameStop, etc. would have these cartridges inside a Nintendo DS that would distribute demos and... You pretty much bring bring your DS, use a download play function, and basically play any demos or trailers on whatever kind of games were coming out at the time. And it's pretty simple. They just put the game in, they boot up the system, close it up, and then lock it behind a counter or something like that. I was pretty lucky to get this one. I found it for like 12 bucks on eBay, and this is volume 2. There's 14, by the way. Don't expect a full review of the entire collection, because I don't plan on getting all of these. And yeah, just to show it's legit, that's the front. There's the property and Nintendo sticker. <laughs> uh, they probably have me on a hit list now. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what these can do. And... Play a game. <laughs> Alright. Let's pop this thing in. And we'll give it a shot. So let me just take out the multi-cart I have. And... Popping into the OG DS. Yep. And there we go. So at this point, they would close it up, hook it up to a charger, and then lock it behind a counter or something like that. I am going to keep it open, though, just, just because. And now we will turn on the DS light and download something. So at this point, we would hit download play. And now it will scan for it. There we go. Download. I do just want to give a heads up when this is since the DS doesn't have internal storage or anything, you will lose any demo or whatever once you power the thing off. And there we go. So in volume two, we've got Big Brain Academy, Metroid Prime. Oh, oh. okay, we're back. So as I was saying. We've got Big Brain Academy, Metroid Prime Hunters, Magnetica, whatever that is, Brain Age, Tetris DS, and movies on X-Men 3 and Over the Hedge. Just for the sake of it, let's do Metroid Prime. Oh yeah, and supposedly you can um, have 15 DS's on one uh, download station cartridge. As you can see that by that white text, that is currently my DS Lite. And just to prove it, I will use my 3DS, which, by the way, does work vice versa. So a, a 3DS can download from this, and this can distribute to other DSs as well through backwards compatibility. Yeah, downloads take a little bit of time, but they're not too horrible. All right, so we download, and then if we look at the DS download station, there, it's pairing one more. And as a matter of fact, you just saw it just lost the damn connection. God damn. You've got to be kidding me. I'm doing Tetris because that's usually more simple than fucking Metroid. Hey, there we go. Okay. Okay. Wait, what the? What am I doing? What? What am I doing? I, I don't remember this happening in Tetris DS. Okay, well, you guys get the point. So... Uh, basically, this will allow you to play uh, demos of upcoming DS games, and that's pretty much about it. As you can see, I'm sucking major ass at this because I have never did this mode in Tetris DS. But yeah, you guys get the point, point. and like I said, if you shut off the system, then yeah, you lose the data, you lose the, the demo. We'll go ahead and do Over the Hedge just because it's... Why not? Guess what happened when I wasn't recording? It lost the download. Goody. 
So yeah, basically with trailers, it would just uh, loop a video on nonstop, just showing what the game would be and just being an advertisement pretty much. I could totally see this game was going to be good. Maybe it's got potential, but eh, let me know. Available May 2006. Yeah, the video just loops, so that's about it, really. That's all that this download station cartridge does. It just distributes demos and trailers of upcoming DS games and probably puts me on a uh, Nintendo hit list or something. Thanks for watching this video about this obscure piece of Nintendo history. Bye.